hi guys welcome to this video so in this video we are going to create an LED seeding light using Creo parametric so let's get started so first of all as usual like we need to select the working directory where we have to save all these uh, cat models and then let's click on new and click the default template and let's rename our part okay so LED ceiling light okay, good oh we can't able to use the space in the name okay and then our unit has mm minus spot solidity abuse yep okay so um for this part like uh, i have measured uh the uh, led light which i have uh, which i'm using right now okay so if you need this dimension okay so if you can you guys can comment below so that i will upload uh, the drawing sheet on the on our channel website okay so yeah let's start it um front plane sketch on the sketch view so at first uh, here i'm just going to draw a circle okay uh, with the diameter value of 50 yep okay i'm just going to leave this as a sketch itself and then I'm just directly moving for the blend and under the blend oops sorry like we have to select the sketch and we have to mention the height value so for the height value I'm just going on with this value of 15 and let's go for the sketch on the second surface so for the second surface I'm just going to draw a circle with the diameter value of 65 a little bit bigger than that okay okay and you can see these two sections has been created as a 3d model okay so this is what i required and then shading with the edges um yeah this looks fine so let's select the top surface we can directly go for the extrude and let's go for the sketch view so on this i'm just going to draw a center rectangle like this and this length this will be 150 and this height this will be also 150 okay yeah that's right and let's extrude this to a value of 10 okay so the next thing is like I am just going to do the same thing again on the above surface so let's go for the extrude on this surface and let's go for the sketch view so on this face, I'm just going to draw the same rectangle which we have drawn before. But here, I'm just going to modify the dimension. As you can see, like I'm going to adjust this width value for 170. But for the uh, previous part that we have measured a value of 150, right? So let me just measure this. Yeah. Okay, good. It's like squared. That's fine. And I'm just going to extrude this to a value of 3. To a very, very minimum extrude, okay? yep I think uh, we have done this so um, here I'm just going to add some couple of round features but uh, before that um, let me just extrude uh, some portions inside because we need to remove uh, we need to use the extrude cut feature here for removing some um, parts like uh, as you can see this light may have some outer frames right so for the outer frames either you can create an extruded for the outer frames or else like you can create extruded cut feature for this inner frames okay so here i'm just going to cut this inner faces here for the extrude cut feature okay and the height value is three so that will be on the bottom side as a remove material feature and you can see this is what i need okay good so the next thing is round features so here i think we need to add some more round features here so the first round feature that we have to add is for this oh, sorry this one um, let me just go for the value of three control key this one and all these four edges okay good and for the top edges okay good. Good, good that's fine this is for the bottom and for the top um yeah this is, looks fine but for the top here this should have a uh, full round feature because we are going to place 
um, like um, this LED seed ignite will be placed uh, towards inside of the ceiling okay so all these things like all these things will be hidden except this this line like, as you can see here right this face so this will be um, aligned with the floor okay so this face should have some round features so like it will have some good view right so for the round I am just going to use the um, value of 1.5 as this height is 3 for this one and for this one either you can use this value or else like you um like I said before like I will like I have explained in my previous videos right uh, let me just explain this for one more time if you need to follow the full round uh, like if you can't able to find out the value you can directly just click on the surface and the control key plus select the other side surface and if you go for the sets you can able to see the full round feature here and for the full round you need to select the surface and you can see this is called full round feature here like fully rounded surface okay like I have explained this in on uh, uh, like every videos so I'm just trying to tell this in this video again okay, okay okay um I think this is this looks uh, really good and uh, if I need to add something else on this uh, yeah let me just check on the chamfer first of all uh, whether this looks good on the chamfer oops let's try this for the, all the sides okay anyway like this looks um, really good yeah okay that's fine so the next thing is like uh, to make it a uh, very realistic 3d model I'm just uh, thinking of creating a uh, like a cable which comes outside of this part okay so let me just uh, um, identify how to create this part uh, yeah either like uh, let me just create a plane first of all um, the value of uh, 15 means uh, 1.5 yeah 1.5 good sketch and then sketch so for this I'm just going to have uh, this plane as a reference and this line as a reference okay solve close a sketch view so in the middle of this like uh, either in the middle of this or it's like uh, on the back side okay so either from here um, yep, I'm just going to create a spline like this okay and then um yep this looks this looks good yeah this is fine i'm just directly going for the sweep sketch and then the sketch view. so here yeah let's make it uh, like uh, i'm just going to draw so two circles with the diameter value of two and this will be 1.1 and this will be 1.1 and one more circle like, like this and this will be 3 okay after this I'm just going to delete unwanted segments okay yeah that's fine that's fine mm, either uh, we can go for one point I think so yeah yeah this is fire so yep and you can see this is this is got weird exactly looks like a cable right okay and it's uh, extruding from this part that's that's good that's good okay good okay so yep that's all guys like we have done this part either if we need to add any texture over here like oh uh, we can add it by ourselves okay um text like this A channel name um font uh, we can use any font for this okay anyway uh, anyway like this will be 
uh, like a very mini very very minimum size so we don't uh, to worry about this okay yep this is fine okay okay so let's extrude this to a value of uh, 0 0.2 okay I think 0 0.1 is fine okay so on the front um, either here also you can able to add some text because uh, this is uh, this will be um, like we can able to view only this part over the ceiling right okay just uh, um yep rotate and resize let's rotate it yep and let's make it center okay i think this is good this is good okay and yep that's okay because i don't want to spend more time on this because i think uh, you guys can able to uh, know about uh, this text tool and uh, this extruding tool okay so i don't want to use much time on this okay so uh, let's go for the coloring because i have worked a lot for uh, this coloring for identifying the specific code for the specific color so uh, i'm just going to give the metallic white for the entire part first of all so then uh, yeah so then i'm just going to edit this metallic color so the color uh, RGB so for the R 98 for the G 99 and for the B 101 yep. and then for the bump um, rough and for the rough I'm just having a value of 11 and with the height value of sorry scale value of 2 okay and close it okay good good if we go for shading with reflection it may have some different view but that looks better than this okay so uh, i'm just going to have a white color for the all these inner surfaces so let me just start the intent surface of this of this um and for the outers uh, for the text like it this is fine this is fine and for the bottom also I'm just going to follow the same color here I think this is not selected okay I think uh, every other round features has been selected here so that's fine and for the wiring yeah it's it will be the same and for the search okay and for the back text like we need to give the alternative right okay that's fine that's fine okay um okay all i think uh, this this is this is massive right and for the white um i think this is fine but uh we can't able to see this inner cuts here right so it, we can go for this so we can make this as metal but if we make it as metal we can't able to view this either we can go for the wood and this call will be changed okay mask okay Yeah, paint looks better than the others. Um, this is more reflective. Either we can reduce the reflection, but uh, that doesn't that doesn't look good. Okay, it becomes a glass. 
whether we can uh, reduce the transparency but it looks like a black color okay um, is there we can go with the paint itself yeah I'm just okay with this yep and uh, for the floor plane we need to change anything like we can able to change this but yep, this is fine or it's like if you need to keep uh, so yeah, right plane I think so yeah okay I think front is good so that's all guys so thanks for watching and if you want more videos related to mechanical engineering or any other content, you can comment below. So, thank you guys. Like, we will see in the next video with a very, very interesting content. Until then, bye.